Thank you for joining us again. We're out here in the middle of the desert once again, only this time we're bringing you something a little bit different. Uh, we have gone off-road today to get where we're at, um, if you want to call it off-road. It was more like just a dirt trail, but it was a little bit tricky. So we did, we did air down first. Um, and you know what? There's different opinions on airing down. I personally am of the opinion that there are certain times to air down, but not always. There's two reasons. One, you're going to get stuck if you don't do it. Or two, you want a smoother ride. In this case, it was wanting a smoother ride. I knew that this trail wasn't going to be too difficult, but I wanted to make sure that when I got down into the washes, um, I wasn't getting jostled around and losing my teeth like I did on the last ride. So today, where, we're, where we have gone is Anderson Mine, or Anderson Mill. And it's out towards the Wickenburg area, just off of Castle Hot Springs Road. And there's a little bit of a road turn there that you might not recognize. But I will put links down below to the tracks that you can download for this ride. So you're going to turn off of Castle Hot Springs Road onto West Mine Road. Most of the ride after this is pretty well graded and there's a place to turn off right after you get in to do your air down or whatever. As you get further along past the active mining areas, it does get a little bit rough, windy, and it's pretty full of sloppy, silty dirt and rocks. There are quite a few ups and downs with pretty steep angles as well. The Bronco Sport did pretty well in the sand mode with traction control turned off. It was drifting a little bit until I got that traction control down and kept my foot on the gas. Just don't let up too much or you'll slide around too. I recommend if you come out here, it's in a four-wheel drive with some decent clearance. You never know what the grading is going to look like after the next rain. Eventually you will enter the wash, and a short time later you'll come around the bend and see the mill. Watch out for wildlife though, and try not to scare it too bad. And you'll want to keep your eye out on the sides of the trail as you're on your way up. There's other turnouts to mining operations, and some of them are active and some of them aren't. And you can visit the ones that aren't and see where the material for the mill came from. So what Anderson Mill is, is there were two brothers named Anderson that opened up this mill and it closed just after the war in 1951. So what this mill mined was mica and it's still left over and this area was just full of a granite type substance that had myriad, myriad of different things in it. But mostly what they got out of it was mica and that was used in the war effort to help with fire retardant type materials and electrical insulation type materials. So it was very crucial to the war effort. So this place has a lot of history and what you'll find is that Arizona has tons of history when it comes to mining, but it, not what you think. Although gold and silver was found here, as a matter of fact, mining goes all the way back to the Native American times when they would mine around here. And then the Spanish came in and they were hunting for gold and they were hunting for silver. And they actually did find some pretty interesting silver deposits. But one of the biggest things that's mined out here is copper and other things like mica and germanium, things like that. There's some lithium mining and things like that as well. Now, one thing I would be careful of when you're out here, and we did stop on our way in to check it, there's a ton of signs letting you know that there's active mining claims out here. And you don't want to get busted for mine, mine claim jumping. Um, bad things can happen if you do that. It has been known to happen. Out here. So with no further ado, what I really want to do is show you this mine. So there is a lot of space in here. It's very spacious. But since people did die here, there it's probably about at least one ghost. Okay. These are actually 
no parts from airplanes or something I think for like that they would use to build the so what you'll see is that a lot of this place was actually made from just scrap metal and truck beds that they found and little friends that tend to be hanging around the Anderson mill is a Roop Goldberg mill you remember old Roop from school those machines where the ball goes down a track, tripping up different and other things to make someone toast. Those types of mills worked in a similar way. I'm not sure where my daughter got the idea of people dying there. I'm not sure they did or not, but it was dangerous work, so it's very possible. There really isn't a lot of information on the internet that I could find about the Anderson Mill or the mining operations in the area. Most of it was pretty general high-level information, so your imagination does wonder a bit as you walk around the site. We did follow up on this ride with a ride out to the Underwood Homestead. There isn't much left to see out there other than a few boards, but it's worth the extra 10 minutes just for the views if you want to make it past the mill. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you and yours.